the hedonist is motivated by a desire for pleasures. His simple ethical theory is that pleasure is the highest form of good. He is free from the chains of both religion and the deeply flawed human construct called morality. This is his guide to women. He knows that there are three types of pleasure that can be gained through a relationship with a woman. The first type is the explosive physical pleasure experienced during sex. The second is the pleasure of being indulged with every attention, comfort, and kindness a woman can offer him. The third is a mental pleasure, which is experienced when his ego is fed. This happens as he sees a high-quality woman's desire for him and the jealousy that stirs in other men. He sees things very simply. There is no room in his life for the pain of let's just be friends. He doesn't waste time on women he isn't sleeping with. There is no room in his life for women with baggage, as he has learned that their baggage never results in his happiness. There is also no room in his life for women who quickly demand a relationship or want him to play daddy to the children she already has. He only participates in relationships free from his displeasure. His modus operandi is easy to understand. Know that all women are insane and driven purely by emotion. This one assumption in life saves him so much unanticipated displeasure. He knows his only control over a woman is to give her intense sexual pleasure at a level she cannot get from anyone else and didn't even think was possible until she experienced it from him. It's so powerful she will tell all her friends about it. She becomes addicted to that pleasure just like a drug addict and she knows she can only get her next fix from him. He however has many women in his life and can get his next fix from other women. One of the more amazing things about the hedonist is that he never gets angry with women. You may think that someone focused on pleasure would inherently fall victim to huge emotional swings, but this is not the case with him. He realized a long time ago that getting angry with a woman is to give her power over him. It gives her the most destructive power he could, the power to take away the most important thing, his happiness. When a woman becomes unpleasant to be around, he simply leaves. Experience has taught him that when he withdraws, she chases and adjusts her behavior so he won't withdraw again. Why? Because she is undeniably drawn toward what she can get from no other man. The one in the relationship who needs it the least always has the most fun. And how did this man gain his ability with women, you may ask? It was learned through shameless infield research and even more shameless practice. He now walks around so confident in his ability to give women intense sexual pleasure that women can sense it from across the room. Your choice is simple. You can either become like this man or you can follow what society says. Work 60 hours a week, paying for all the things you think you need to get a woman, and then use the label of relationship or marriage to fuel your belief that she will stay with you. 
But know this, you will stand speechless when she leaves you for her next fix of intense sexual pleasure from a man like this. It is unavoidable. You will either be the man she cheats on or the man she has an affair with. I've been both of these men at different times in my life. And I can tell you that it's more fun being the hedonist. <laughs>